Charles's off-the-cuff speech at Harry's wedding reception was well received by guests as he made jokes about changing his son's nappy, a guest revealed The next in line to the throne joked with guests at the afternoon reception in St. George's Hall, which was hosted by the Queen, as Charles claimed Prince Harry had turned out well After the speech, Elton John performed a number of songs to the 600 guests in attendance who tucked into canips and cake A guest at the reception said there was no mention of Diana in the speeches. Charles spoke about feeding Harry a bottle and changing his nappy, and then said, Look how well he turned out. That's about as embarrassing as it got. Prince Harry is said to have also wowed the audience with his off the cuff comments about the American guests and was cheered when he referred to himself and Meghan as my wife and I. He told the people, he promised that all the Americans wouldn't steal the swords and said please, when you leave, be quiet as you don't want to wake the neighbors, which was quite fun It did feel we were really part of their very special occasion, which was great They added, Prince William acted as a compere and introduced Charles, then Harry Elton John was then introduced by Prince William, who asked if anyone in the crowd could play piano He then started playing after a brief lull, starting with your song before also playing Tiny Dancer, Circle of Life, and I'm Still Standing He was incredible. It became like a mini concert in the reception area, said one guest Some people were even crying. The reception included a cutting of the lemon and elderflower flavored wedding cake. Later in the evening, they traveled to Frogmore House in Windsor Great Park. In fact, their dinner party had more in common with a West End club night than a traditional wedding breakfast, with Harry's favorite house tracks curated by DJ Sam Totoli, who also performed at Pip Middleton's wedding. A drinks of the world themed bar and candifless and dirty burgers as midnight snacks. There was something of a carnival atmosphere in the gardens of the 230 year old stately home, which once belonged to King George III. These days it is used mainly for entertaining. The sit down dinner was strictly organic, sourced at the request of Prince Charles, and the light bite canips were themed spring meets summer. The meal, paid for by the Prince of Wales, started at 7:30 p.m. and finished at around 10 p.m. Its three courses were understood to have been peppered with naughty speeches from Prince William and a joint effort from Tom Inskup, known as Skippy, and Tom Van Strabinzi Any crude nods to Prince Harry's Playboy past were held back until the older guests had departed Inskup Harry's closest confidant was also under strict instructions to downplay Prince Harry's Las Vegas trips, all before he met Meghan Guests are also understood to have returned to London late last night for an after-after party at celebrity favourite Chiltern Firehouse in Marylebone Another party had been planned in a soundproofed private home in Chelsea. It was quite a contrast with the earlier stand up wedding breakfast in Windsor Castle's St. George's Hall, which saw 600 guests enjoy ball food and canips such as Scottish langoustines wrapped in smoked salmon, cricket of confit, Windsor lamb, and champagne and pistachio macarons. Harry and his father then gave speeches. Suhani Jalota, the founder of the India based Mina Mahila charity, said of Harry's speech, he was talking about his wife. Everybody was clapping because it was the first time he was using the term for Meghan, so it was really nice. <laughs>